So who is a good candidate? Well, you have to meet several criteria. Most of these are, are clearly laid out in the inclusion criteria on our website. But the two, two big ones are age, have to be between 18 and 64 for the knee trial, and between 18 and 55 for the hip trial. Weight is an inclusion criteria. The body mass index for knees has to be less than 35, and for hips has to be less than 30. You can do a quick search on the internet to find a body mass index chart where you plug in your height and weight, and that'll tell you quickly if you qualify. Another criteria, which is a little less obvious, is the what's called the mechanical axis of the knee. With the mechanical axis, a straight line is drawn from the center of the hip down to the center of the ankle, and where that line passes the knee determines what the mechanical axis is. That line ideally passes right through the middle of the knee. If the line passes more than halfway between the middle of the knee and the edge of the bone, then the mechanical axis is said to be outside of the 50% mark. And that is also an exclusion criteria. It's a little more complicated than that, though. You could actually do what's called a tibia osteotomy, where the tibia is cut and realigned with a metal plate and screws to shift that mechanical axis line back where it belongs. For a very young patient, that's probably worth doing because they're just too young to have a knee replacement. I think in general, though, for a patient that's in their 50s and certainly 60s, it's probably more than you want to go through. The order in which those would take place is that the microdrilling surgery would actually be done first, and then six weeks later, the osteotomy would be done. Because of the time on crutches, after each surgery, you're on crutches for a total of four months. That is, six weeks after the microdrilling surgery and about two and a half months after the osteotomy. You can put some weight on it, just not all your weight. That's a lot to go through for somebody that could alternatively just get a knee replacement and again that's why I typically discourage older patients from doing that.